The trees will speak to you if you take the time to listen. Wow. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and New England Federal Credit Union. My name is Ava Saulberger, and today we are at Shelburne Farms in Shelburne, Vermont, and we are going for a walk in the woods with the Poet Laureate of Shelburne, Rick Bassett, and a group of fifth graders from the Shelburne Community School. You're going to look for things that pop out to you. And we have a special surprise guest showing up. She was hit by a car and her wing was pretty badly broken so she can't fly well enough to hunt. Craig has a lot of birds. He donates his time and takes care of these animals that have been hurt. Not a bad time to be out in the woods looking for owls. Who cooks for you? <laughs> Let's go, guys. Getting the kids outside the school walls is always a true inspiration for their writing and for their work. Okay, come on. The snow isn't too deep. When the webs used to come here, back in the early days of this property, there were stately pines, very quiet, and so, the name Church Woods, and it stuck for over 100 years. Robert Frost was Vermont's first Poet Laureate back in 1961, and Rick Bissett is the first Poet Laureate of the town of Shelburne. And Rick takes his job pretty seriously. Telling stories of the town, what's so important to me is to bring joy, peace, a togetherness. I've lived here all my life. It's to share that feeling for your community. So we're gonna spend an afternoon with Rick and find out why the town of Shelburne has its own Poet Laureate. A couple years ago, we started the Poet Laureate program here in Shelburne. The idea was to bring poetry to the larger community. And it's been a tremendous success because Rick his energy, his enthusiasm. He's taken upon himself to set up readings at the library at Shelburne Farms. Rick has been able to recite poems that he's written for special occasions. Nice, good eye. He just brings that energy and love of why literacy is so important in our lives to these children and to the town. The snow down your shoes, the crunching of the snow, it's so cold. You can see your own breath. You'll notice where animal tracks have crossed there. This is their home. And this is where they eat and live. Just listen for a minute, really quiet. I want you to listen to what the trees have to say to you. I grew up on Shelburne Farms and it became a big part of my life to write down what I felt, saw, and heard. I never went to college, didn't care for school. I would sit in a classroom, look out the window, and daydream. One of my teachers that I had at CVU came to one of my readings, and he smacked himself in his forehead and said, I don't believe this. <laughs> Rick is a treasure. That is 100% true. Rick is a gem. There's no, there's no doubt. He has an incredible amount of energy to pass on that's positive. Everyone knows Rick. He's a native uh, Shelburne resident and knows everybody in town. When you're reading his poetry, when you're listening to him recite his poetry, it's so calming. It's simple. You don't have to read between the lines. The stately pine and hemlocks just waiting there to be seen. Therein winds a tiny brook on its course between the trees. Always finds the lake nearby after winter's freeze. And this is what I consider a chapel in the woods. So look up, look up. Does any of you have like any words popping into your head? What you got cooking? Peaceful, nice. Cold beauty. Cold beauty. A patch of green in the gray. Magical. Sound of silence. It's 
beautiful that like it's like a ceiling above us like with the branches. So then when you look down you can see the animal tracks. I was writing about how the, all the um, animals are kind of like running away from us and hiding. I was writing about how the trees talk to you and you hear the birds singing and it's magical. As you enter the woods, all you saw washes away in the book. As peace shines, although you're unable to see it, you can hear it like another world right under your own feet. It's just really quiet and you kind of get to escape from like all the craziness of daily life. There's nothing that says it necessarily has to be perfect and spelling and punctuation, but it's their work, untouched. It's what they feel, what they see, what they've heard. Um, I've learned just to like write what your heart says mm -hmm. and stuff. When I write, it kind of gives me like a kind of place to calm down. You can write about anything that you're passionate about. I think they learn the true meaning of what writing is for to inspire other people to teach other people about the values that they have inside them and the messages they can bring to our world. So it's really that passion and inspiration to be a writer and what writing is all about that they're learning. In this crazy busy world, this is a little bit of peace and happiness. It's really been helping me like escape into like my own writing because mm -hmm. I get to, it's like my own world. And a journey of a poet laureate for his community has been truly one of the biggest things in my life, aside from getting married and having children. And that's another message to the kids. Dreams can come true. I hope you all get inspired to take a walk in the woods or maybe write some poetry, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and sign up for our weekly email alerts. And now I'm gonna go get in my very warm car because it's cold. Hope you're all enjoying the winter. Okay. Are you okay? Does Rick? the poet laureate? Sing you have to out? do this, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can take your back ride too. <laughs> How's that, Alex? How's that, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want our poet laureate to beat out on us now. <laughs> yeah, the pay isn't that great. Yeah, I know. <laughs>